What's up everybody, it's Charles. So it recently snowed here in the south and uh, as you can probably see a tiny bit of snow on my house there. And it got me thinking how the emergency brake or parking brake behaves differently in the snow versus on pavement. For the electronic parking brakes on Volkswagens, you may or may not know, if you hold that button, it does perform a panic stop on the vehicle. This will activate the ABS and bring the car to a pretty quick stop. But I wanted to know how that behaved on snow as well as what happens when you don't hold the button up, you just pull it up to activate the electronic parking brake. So today, we're gonna find out. So first test will be dry pavement, about 20 miles per hour. I'm simply gonna just pull the parking brake up and it actually won't activate. You can hear the ABS pump running a little bit. Now I'm gonna hold it. It stopped the car quick and turned on the parking brake and that was me stopping at that time. You could feel the ABS pulsate just a little bit. Now, when you pull the emergency brake, it should be actuating the ABS module and pumping all four brakes, not just the rear, which is quite a bit different than the old handle pull up. All right, so we're coming up on some snow here. I'm gonna get the car straight and we are gonna see what happens. The first one will be holding the button. Parking brake is activated. As you can see, I'm sliding. I had to actually put my foot on the brake in order to get the car to stop. So let's see what happens when we just tap the parking brake button as if we were trying to activate it. That's 20 and that was just tapping the parking brake. That was holding it down all the way. Now it's got the parking brake button and you could see the wheels lock because I'm definitely sliding. So that time what it was doing is it should have been pulsing all four wheels, but once it locked up the rear brakes to apply the parking brake like it did on the dry pavement, that's when our car started to slide. Just for comparison's sake, I'm gonna go around one more time. I'm gonna apply the brakes, not the parking brake, just the, the brake pedal brakes and see how the car behaves that way. That should activate the ABS system and bring our car to a nice controllable stop. not on the gas or the brake and that was the traction control kicking in all right now we have the traction control deactivated the traction control is technically deactivated it still is not fully deactivated. The traction control was functioning, the light in the dash was flashing, despite the fact that my little burnout warning light is on, you could still see it flashing. All right, so there we have it, some very anti-scientific testing done on the Tiguan, mostly just an excuse to get out and play in the snow and get it on camera. But it was interesting that it would activate the parking brake while the vehicle was still moving. That's actually normal. It does kick the parking brake on at a handful of miles per hour. I want to say the threshold is about three miles per hour or so, but because we're on that very slick surface, it of course allowed the vehicle to keep going and just purely slide. All right, guys, I also have to mention, please don't do this out on public roads. This actually is a private road. What we did today could potentially be very dangerous. Again, this does bring the car to an incredibly fast, abrupt stop. Even though you do technically have control, uh, I don't recommend it. So just be really careful out there. And if you're playing around in the snow, which I always have a good time with, also be very careful too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.